what's going on everybody <clears throat> i know i haven't done a video in a long time so i'm just kind of getting back into it i've been uh you know really busy and slammed with uh you know work and whatnot and you know day-to-day -day life but uh one thing i really wanted to get out there was a little issue i had um with one of my builds so i had just picked up this uh tyro 119 pretty much got it built built it around as, at my leisure and uh one of the things I did was with the receiver I chosen for this one, I don't know if you can see it in there, uh, you, really, you really can't see it uh, in detail, but basically it is a RXSR receiver. So the one thing, the reason why I went with it was A, was because I ended up having, I have an access receiver or a transmitter. I always get those backwards. Uh, I have an access transmitter. And the one thing that was nice was they made this access compatible. But I've been having trouble trying to get it to, connect now one thing that you guys may have seen in the past in other videos was i do have the xjt module mounted on the back of this one of the issues i was having was when i would go into bind what was happening was the, it was telling me i was getting the green light on my receiver meaning that was bound but when i on my tyrannus here i was getting no signal i was getting no rssi signal there or my headset and i haven't really checked my headset but i'm almost positive it's going to work because uh I was able to fly it um, basically what I had to do instead of going through the regular procedure on here to bind what I had to do um, was I basically had to create a whole new mode and in the bind process I had to flip these two down the two little switches on here make sure that those two one and two were down meaning that when you were to bind, going to bind this one it would bind in D16 now what happened was when I would go through and try and bind it like I said it would bind but one of the things you have to do on this one I don't know why I put this down but when you fire everything back up and you have this in bind mode which is uh, you got your blue this is only for the RXSR that I know of you have when you put it in bind mode you have your blue your red and your green now when you're in blue we all know that well so you may not know that but when the blue is on that means you're in uh, I can't think of the word why am I not thinking of the word uh, S bus mode so that means you're in S bus um, but if it's off that means you're in PPI I believe or the other mode um, and I was messing around with that just because I was hitting the bind button and, and holding it for so long but what was going on was it was coming on uh, the green was on so it was bound um, but I had to rebind it by holding this button down here in the middle on the XJT powering on the transmitter that allowed it to bind in the correct way. So when I powered my transmitter down, powered the drone down, it ended up working and connecting. So I had RSSI signal. Then once I got it running, uh, I noticed that uh, <laughs> the uh, props were backwards. Um, and I couldn't hook it up to uh, BL Heli to get it to work. But um, just kind of little quirky things that FR Sky is making us deal with with this access protocol and, you know, running with external modules. It, it for the most part, I'm using them for all, you know, little binding flies, uh, mainly, you know, Emacs. I have a lot of those. I still have a lot of those to go over. I've got a new beta here uh, I want to go over, and obviously I have another build that I'm going to start working on. But, and then obviously in another video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, Tyro, my thoughts and feelings about it. But I have to get it up in the air uh, because once I got this thing all finished and uh, was about to go outside and fly it, uh, it started raining. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a ton of stuff I got to get out of here and review, so I'm going to try and uh, get some videos uploaded and just some of my thoughts and some things. I know I haven't been here in a while, but I've certainly been collecting a bunch of stuff and, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of drone gear and accessories, but uh, I wanted to get that out there, you know, just to say that's your quick buying process. Uh, if you're having trouble with, you know, if this is the radio you have and you're running the XJT, that's the only way I could get it to bind. I mean, I couldn't get it to bind. Yeah, you know, via beta flight and uh, yeah, uh, the other quick thing too, which I forgot to mention, um, with this one, they say it's all, you know, a lot of people are just plug and play and it automatically picks up. Um, but one of the things I had to do was, which I'll try and get a, I don't know if I can get a video of it or I'll get a screenshot of it. Basically for your S port, because I'm not running S port on this one, I'm only running three wires. It's basically running like an XM plus. You know, I had to solder in and modify it here for the three wires because you got your uh, your power ground and your feed and your power ground and your feed. And I had to modify the cables up there a little bit. But 
one of the things that I did a quick switch over to uh, that helped with the buying process was I had to put it on FR Sky Receiver uh, in beta flight. So I'll try and get a screenshot up there uh, just to show you guys. And uh, yeah, just a couple of things that, you know, because there's a lot of videos on here, but I don't see a whole lot with this access protocol. Not a lot of people use it, I'm finding. Um, so it's just, I guess it's just kind of my luck uh, with getting this, you know, particular radio. But uh, yeah, um, I'll be going over this here soon. Uh, like I said, I got a couple, got a charger I got to go over, some, you know, like I said, just basic supplies and uh, new build we're going to start working on. But uh, I didn't film this build just because it was my first one uh, to do a full extensive build as a kit. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, get this one laid out and basically see how it was and go from there. But uh, thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions, please comment, shoot me, whatever, get a hold of me. Uh, via the tube and uh i'll try and get out to you appreciate it